Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Zaylu and welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy, a Telltale series. We're continuing with episode 3. We just met Mantis, and my one of my favorite characters of all time in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's get right back into it. I don't remember where we left off. <laughs> I really don't remember where we left off, but that's okay. We're going to see it right now. I think we uh, just left off with literally us bringing her back to the ship to meet up with the people and we're gonna like her kind of go along with Drax and if it, this is anything is like this? the movies yep why are her head tentacles glowing <laughs> the big green tattoo man is filled with sadness what no he lacks direction I do not lack direction <laughs> only once have I required a map <laughs> now he is ashamed for his outburst Mantis is an empath, oh, Drax. That's awesome. She can sense your emotions. I do not show emotion. <laughs> that was anger. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you. We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip. It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One. You so messed sir. with our minds. Why? Please just trust her. For me. I don't trust people for other people. I trust people for I me. I am Groot? What do you mean? That totally makes sense. So how is the <laughs> bug connected to all this? Oh, I can explain. What are you doing? Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from <laughs> God, and why I, love I this. should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. <laughs> Go ahead, Mantis. <laughs> Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate right. with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the I'm gonna, universe. I'm going to drive this on as much as to I can. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving. <laughs> let her keep talking. And to help guide the wielder <laughs> down so the right path. I so want to see Groot go crazy. Or not Groot, uh, Rocket. And waited. Years went by. Many unworthy <laughs> tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. I love it. The Kree decided that no it's culture like, had matured enough it's to use like the how, forge it's the just, required. Eventually, the asleep? forge and I were separated, locked away until the time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. <laughs> and that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Uh... <laughs> what an interesting, relevant oh, story. Oh, God. How Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm going to blast you out an airlock. <laughs> I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. There is a legend of the Celestial One. <laughs> the Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. The Celestial this One. Celestial One. I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't Advanced seen the second movie. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. I don't believe in magic, okay? It's just a lot of superstitious hocus pocus. Yet that which you do not believe in brought you back to life. You must reconcile those two facts because you are the celestial one. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial what's-it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. Oh. The forge is... Rocket. ...limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... Undeteriorated. Uh, I am Groot. You said 
right now. Now, does that mean that things might be different later? Yes. You can change everything. How? The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There, you can unlock its true power. Or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, oh. from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. Why would I destroy the forge? This thing sounds awesome. <coughs> Hala. <clears throat> its awesomeness comes with a price. Hala. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So someone still has oh. to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes. Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this force <laughs> to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, okay, not cool, man. Don't lie to us. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. Oh, and lying to you, that was a one-time thing. I am Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. <laughs> so, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. Wow. Uh, okay, this is, uh, <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's, let me think on it. <laughs> Well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been. Ha. Huh. But with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. So... Uh, am I doing this right, or...? It is easier <laughs> if you don't talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All yeah. right. All right. I'm not, uh... That's fine. Whatever. I'm talking. <sighs> I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Okay, I guess we're gonna go help our little shipmates here. Great. Calm down. Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... But now, I am hopeful. Oh. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. That's huh? such a hard thing to do. You had no right to have the antenna woman do that to me. You did not even ask my permission. That is the height of offense, Peter Quill. I just wanted to know what was going on. In here. In my chest. In your heart. It is pumping blood. Blood and feelings, buddy. Blood and feelings. She told me I was afraid. I do not like to feel afraid. Such feelings bring me great shame. Ah, but so talking sad. to you, a frequently scared person. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Anytime, Drax. All right. All right. Let's talk to Rocket and Groot. Hey, bud, what's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What are you? I I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. I am Groot. And what happens if Hala gets a hold of it, huh? 
this falls into the wrong hands, the whole galaxy is screwed. You're right. The whole galaxy is already screwed. It's always screwed. You think if we destroy this thing, that'll make a difference? Ah. Nah, that's... The only ones you're screwing are your so-called friends. Rocket. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. Lila would be ashamed of you right now. You saw one damn memory of her. And you're talking like you knew her? Go to hell, Pete. Only this time, don't come back. I am Groot. You can both go to hell. Well, that's I think one she way would. to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Fine. 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 Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? Uh, I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while. Ugh. Uh, she won't hear it. She's not from me. Hmm. Maybe She'll be barely fine. even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her i'll help i'll help but maybe maybe if we had more time i could try talking to her again when she's calmed down give her some space without losing her altogether well they say time heals all wounds who's they huh? i have no idea right maybe i can get her to hang around who was the first person who would say that just maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Oh, great. Groot. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? <laughs> I am Groot. I'll tell you this, we're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. What? All right, let's go. Talk to Miss Grumpy Pants over here. Nebula. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill. But, uh, yeah, but you know that. Yeah. You mind if I sit? Cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, so I guess. Like a right? Oh, man. You were awesome. And you only had one arm. Well, <laughs> yeah. Got nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Cater. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. Cares about you. That I deserve everything I've been through. Actually, she told me how good it was between the two of you. I mean, at least. Before it all went sideways. Yeah. There were a lot of good times. But they didn't last very long. Ah. Uh. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, but well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. 
You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Huh. I guess we're gonna go see her now, perspective please of this. Take my hand. Okay. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. That's how that works. So who are we playing as now? Is everything all right? What's going on? Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. That's not what it looked like. Nebula, come here. Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. Gamora is a good teacher. I owe all my knowledge to her. And yet you emerged the victor. You have clearly outgrown her teachings. <laughs> there is something you must know about Gamora. She has informed me that she does not want you around anymore. That she works better alone. Every day, she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. Oh. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but Gamora won't fail you, father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. Okay. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Oh. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher. And my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. This mission will prove that. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Oh. God, I had to hurt. So she Nebula. did have... Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Nebula. Father. I knew it. You don't need Gamora anymore. And neither do I. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Oh. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. 
Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine, here. Ah! Uh. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Is it done? What's going on? What are you making him see? It wasn't over. Ah, oh, man! Uh, we were just getting to the part where she, um... You know... What? The part where she kills you? I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always uh. pushing against Thanos, testing his uh. limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. She was just following orders, Gamora. Thanos made her do it. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing If I me. wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse. Just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm... Pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. Yeah. It's That's for sure. possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do- Guys! Guys! Stop! You both want the same thing! Yeah. He's... actually right. Right? It happens. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could... give each other a chance? All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Hey, there you go. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. That was a lot. That was a lot to take in at once. <laughs> like, a lot to take in at once. <laughs> well, alright, you guys. So... We just saw a lot of things happen, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when we get to the shrine. Like, should I destroy it? Should I not destroy it? Like, what's going to happen? I'm actually going to end this episode here. I know it's a little bit of a shorter episode, but we did have a lot of things happen in this episode. So, I'm just going to end it here. Um, just, oh, gosh. So, like, we did see her, uh, we did see Nebula's side. And I do believe it because of like uh, of Mantis's powers go back in time, and they can't really manipulate anything. Um, and I do like the fact that they are all liking each other again, and maybe she's gonna be a part of the Guardians. You never know. But um, I, I do, I do hope it happens. Uh, Rocket wants us to ha save the shrine, and so does Drax. But like. Would that be really the responsible thing to do to take another's life and to give back others' lives? Is that really the the good thing to do? Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna make me decide or if it's gonna decide for me. I'm I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna have to decide on something. But either way, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, definitely hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys want me to play more of these types of games on this channel. Also, if you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button. It really does help this channel a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>